Hey, welcome to a new video. There's said to be more than 2 million different species of animals on Earth. Every year, researchers consider animals to be extinct, but sometimes they are rediscovered in remote areas. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. The Iraqan forest turtle was thought to have been extinct for more than 86 years, but in 1994, the reptile was found at an Asian food market. Scientists have never seen this turtle in the wild since, and it seems that someone was breeding them for the illegal wildlife trade. The last time the black leopard was officially sighted in the wild was in 1909 in Ethiopia. This species has since been considered extinct. However, in 2019, a group of biologists shot rare images of this big cat in Kenya. The Takahe was considered extinct for about 50 years, but Jeffrey Orbel and his team rediscovered the bird's wild population in 1948. Now these birds live in the remote Murchison Mountains in Fiordland, New Zealand. Miller's grizzled langur is one of the rarest and least known primates in Borneo, and scientists thought the species was extinct. However, it was confirmed that they exist and live in an area previously undiscovered by humans. For the past 23 years, the short-snouted sea snake was believed to be extinct because it was nowhere to be seen at the Ashmore Reef in Australia. But recently, this extinct species was found in deep water in a zone called the Twilight Zone because it's below the ocean's surface. La Palma's giant lizard was thought to be extinct about 2,000 years ago when humans inhabited the island of La Palma. But recently, some photos of the giant lizard were taken, so we can assume they still exist. Honshu wolves are called Japanese ghost wolves. They were thought to have been extinct for 100 years, but locals believe the wolves still live in the mountains. A photo was even taken that is believed to be a Honshu wolf. This creature was thought to have been extinct for more than 70 years, but Dr. Peter Zoller rediscovered the western woolly flying squirrel in 1994. The animal was captured on camera in the northeastern part of Jigme Dorji National Park in Bhutan. The Mosasaurus was an ocean monster thought to have gone extinct 65 million years ago. Now a video was recently released claiming that the giant sea creature still exists. However, many people are skeptical about the video footage, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Look at these wild cats. They were thought to be gone from our planet forever, but in 2019, it was reported that clouded leopards were found in the wilderness of southeast Taiwan. How incredible, isn't it? For the past century, the dwarf deer has not been seen anywhere. However, some scientists rediscovered them again when the deer was first found in Vietnam. After an intensive search in the jungles, the researchers got the chance to spot them on camera. The Pondicherry shark was thought to be extinct, but in recent years, there were several reports from fishermen in the Indian Ocean that they had seen a shark that resembled the Pondicherry shark. Not long after, a researcher named Force Galante had caught it in the sea to prove it still existed. The Wandawoi kangaroo is a rare kangaroo thought to have vanished 90 years ago. But the good news is that this unusual kangaroo was photographed some time ago in a remote mountain range in New Guinea. The New Guinea wild song dog, known for its unusual singing sound, is thought to have disappeared for more than 50 years. Researchers thought the species was extinct in 1970, but it's recently been confirmed that this wild dog has been seen in New Guinea. Here's some photos of them. The Rio Apaporis caiman had been considered extinct since the 1980s, but researchers investigated a tributary of the Amazon. There, they managed to capture video footage of the animal and realized that the reptile was still alive. Dwag Tarsier is probably one of the smallest primates on Earth, and he looks a lot like Baby Yoda. For 80 years, it was thought that this animal no longer existed, but recently, Gerksy Doyen became the first person to meet the dwarf Tarsier in the flesh. So this species had been rediscovered again. This revelation was very unexpected, as the Zanzibar leopard was accidentally rediscovered during the filming of the television show Extinct or Alive. The leopard had officially been declared extinct for 25 years, but thanks to this TV show, we all know that it's still alive. This reptile got its name because of its long curved teeth. The species was first discovered in 1872 by Benjamin Balanza. 
but they assumed that the terror skink died shortly after its discovery. However, that was a wrong assumption, as they were rediscovered in 1993. The Santa Marta Toro was believed to have disappeared from this planet for more than 100 years, but scientists were wrong, because this little rodent is just very good at hiding in the jungles. It wasn't until 2011 that they were rediscovered again in California. How easy is it to lose sight of a whale? It seems incredible, but for years it was believed that the Yamora whale was extinct because no one had seen them since. In 2015, however, researchers published the first video footage of this rediscovered species. Chacoan peccaries are ungulates and were recently rediscovered, among other animals. These large animals were not identified until 1975, and it was thought that they did not exist. But as we can see in these photos, they do still exist. The fishing cat from Asia was nowhere to be found since 2003. Scientists tried for a long time to look for them, but to no avail. Until now. Camera traps placed in the forest finally caught the kittens, and researchers were very happy to see them again. The Cuban Selenodon is a shrew-like venomous mammal that disappeared from Cuba for a decade and was nowhere to be found. In the early 1970s, it was thought that the species had disappeared forever, but as early as 1975, they reappeared in Alejandro de Humboldt National Park. For a long time, no one had seen the Fernandina turtle. This species of turtle used to live in the Galapagos Islands for more than 100 years. However, recently, Forrest Galante was able to prove that this animal still exists. Incredible, isn't it? The last time the Tasmanian tiger was thought to exist was in 1936 at a Hobart Zoo. Since then, it was believed that this animal was extinct, but recently, a few photos and videos of this animal were uploaded by Neil Waters, who claimed that the Tasmanian tiger was still alive. The first and last photograph of the Saki monkey was taken in 1936, in the Iru River in the Amazons. Since then, no one's seen the monkey, but in February 2017, the monkey species was rediscovered in a tall tree near the Iru River during an Amazon expedition. The Megalodon is believed to have gone extinct 3.5 million years ago. However, some people believe that it's still swimming around in our oceans. For example, I found video footage claiming that the Megalodon was found on a beach somewhere in Hawaii in January of 2009. Do you believe this? Night parrots have finally been spotted on camera again for the first time in 110 years. And it's now been confirmed that the species is still alive in Western Australia. Their existence was rediscovered four years ago. What beautiful birds, huh? The Drysocellus australis are walking branches and lived on Lord Howe Island until 1920. The species was thought to have disappeared for good in 1920, but they were rediscovered in 2001. However, the big question is, where have they been all these years? The coelacanth is another fish that's returned from extinction. The fish was thought to have disappeared 65 million years ago, but it surprisingly returned in the 1930s. It's safe to say that this find is one of the most important zoological rediscoveries in the 20th century. People walking down the street were surprised to see that the Smilodon still existed. Unfortunately, they soon noticed that this was just a publicity stunt. But thanks to recent research, scientists managed to map the animal's DNA, which helped reveal that it was a top predator of the Ice Age. The first Neptune cup sponge was discovered in 1822, but then it went missing. More than 100 years later, it was seen again near the coast of southern Singapore. The question is, where have they been all these years? But scientists are happy to have found them again. This is certainly not how we want to rediscover species thought to be extinct, but the Loatian rat was found at a food market in 2005. The ancient rat was thought to have been extinct for 11 million years. It's bizarre that they had to rediscover the animal this way. Don't you agree? The baiji is one of the most famous animals that became extinct due to human activities. In 1990, there were only 13 left, and it was thought that they were all extinct shortly after. In 2006, however, researchers found them again and took this iconic photo. According to this video, woolly mammoths still live in Siberia. However, we don't know if this is edited video footage or if the woolly mammoth still exists. Immediately, people began to discuss, many of whom believe this could be a real woolly mammoth. 
This is the last recording ever from 1944, in which you can see the ivory-billed woodpecker. The sound this bird makes is quite unusual, and in order to record its voice, huge equipment was set up. It's the largest woodpecker in North America, and it's thought to be officially extinct. This is the last photo of the Bramble K Mosaic Tail Rat, and it was taken in 2016. Unfortunately, you won't find this animal anywhere in the world anymore. Their extinction was caused by climate change, and as of 2016, they're no longer living anywhere. It's certain by now that human actions have caused the disappearances of many different animals. This is a very sad story, but according to the latest global assessment of endangered species, there will no longer be black rhinos left by 2022. In 1970, there were still about 20,000 of them. But in 1989, there were only 400 of them left, and in 2011, only two. Do you believe that humans are the reason for their extinction? The last photograph of the Caribbean monk seal was taken in 1952 in the Caribbean Sea at Saranilla Bank, south of Jamaica. No one has seen these animals since. The main reason why the population of these seals has disappeared is because people were hunting them too much in the wild. This new species of small frogs was discovered in 1964 in the cloud forest north of Monteverde in Costa Rica. But as early as 1989, it was the last time anyone encountered them ever again. It's assumed that the golden toad is unfortunately extinct forever. The Kawawo bird was the last member of the Wau family and used to live in Hawaii. The last time anyone saw this bird was in 1985, and it was last heard two years later in 1987. There's a number of reasons why it became extinct, including the destruction by humans of its habitat. Another reason was because they were prey for various predators. The last video of the Chinese paddlefish was made not too long ago in 2022. This is also the year when they officially just became extinct. No wonder they ended up like this, because you can see very clearly in this short video that humans were hunting them. You may be confusing the quagga with the zebra, but they are two different species. It's hard to believe, but the quagga died in a zoo in Amsterdam in 1883. This is the last photo ever taken of the animal. The reason for their extinction? Quaggas could not be tamed, so people hunted them. The Mexican grizzly bear belonged to the brown bear family, but unfortunately, we'll never see him again. Mexico's largest mammal disappeared forever in 1964, and this is the last photo taken of the bear. The photo is quite sad because the animal is tied to a car. George was the very last Architanella apex fulva tree snail. Snails like George used to live on trees in Hawaii. In 2019, however, they are completely extinct there. The photo you see here was taken in 2019, and this was the last photo ever taken of the species of tree snail. There's a number of different species still living in Africa, but the bubal heart beasts which lived in North Africa are extinct. The reason for their extinction was because the people began actively hunting them in Algeria between 1945 and 1954. It's believed that the last photo ever taken of this animal was a very long time ago, which dates back to 1925. The Barbary lion, also known as the Atlas lion, was the largest lion that ever lived in Egypt, Libya, and Morocco. The last photo of a Barbary lion was taken in 1960 in the zoo. However, the last photo of a wild Barbary lion was taken in Morocco in 1942. You now see the last photo of the Elotra grebe duck. This one was taken in 2010, which is the year the duck was returned from critically endangered on the list of extinct animals. The bird's name comes from Lake Elotra on the island of Madagascar, where they used to live. In 1982, there were only 12 ducks left in the world, and in 1985, there were only two left. The passenger pigeon used to be one of the best-known animals in the United States. However, this species became extinct once again at the hands of humans. The last time a wild passenger pigeon was seen was in the year 1900. Martha, the last of this species, died in 1914 at the Cincinnati Zoo, where she lived completely alone for four years. The Oriental Cougar was a distinct population of cougars, which once lived from Quebec and Manitoba in Canada to South Carolina and Illinois in the US. Unfortunately, in 2008, it had been officially declared that the Oriental Cougar was extinct, and unfortunately, the species was also removed from the endangered species list. 
The Syrian wild ass, also known as the Achdari, is an extinct subspecies of the Onager, native to the Arabian Peninsula. Humans hunted the Syrian wild asses extensively, causing their population to decline. Moreover, the regional unrest of World War I also became a reason why the species of donkeys became extinct. The last of their kind was shot in 1827 in northwestern Iraq, and the very last specimen in captivity died in 1928 at the Tiergarten Schönbrunn Zoo in Vienna, Austria. There have been no confirmed sightings of the Haven tiger since the 1980s. Consequently, scientists declared the species extinct. However, a large cat that looked much like the Haven tiger was spotted in West Java in 2017. That could mean the tiger's back, but many scientists think that it was a leopard seen here. In 2016, there were only three northern white rhinos left on Earth. One male and two females. In 2019, the male rhino died in Sudan, so that actually means the species was in fact as good as extinct. Indeed, now only two female rhinos are left as the last of their kind. The Laysan rail was a bird which couldn't fly, and lived on the northwestern Hawaiian island of Laysan. This bird became extinct mainly because too many domestic rabbits appeared on the small island, eating the island bear. Another reason was the Japanese attack on Hawaii at the beginning of World War II. The Caspian tiger was one of the largest cat species which ever lived on Earth. They are thought to have gone extinct in 1970. They began to disappear in the 1920s. In 1958, the tiger was last officially spotted near Russia's border with Afghanistan. In 1960, they also disappeared from Northeast India. And the last time a Caspian tiger was ever seen was in 1968 in the Aral Sea region between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. The last Pinta Island tortoise, Lonesome George, died in 2012. It's thought that he was over 100 years old. However, this giant tortoise had no offspring, and it's very sad that the largest tortoise in the Galapagos Islands is no more. The smooth handfish was recently declared extinct in 2020, becoming only the first animal of its species to be declared extinct in modern times. As you can see, this fish looked a bit strange and spiny, and lived very deep on the bottom of the ocean. Pyrenean ebex is a wild goat that lived in the mountainous regions of Europe, North Central Asia, and North Africa. There are five different species of ebex, and Pyrenean ebex was one of them. In the 1960s, the Pyrenean ebex population declined far too much, and in 1973, this species was declared protected. Nevertheless, this animal was listed as critically endangered as early as 1996. Therefore, the Spanish government tried to breed them, but it failed, and thus this ebex species didn't survive. What we see here is the last and only known video footage of the Heath Hen. It was made seven years before the bird went extinct at Martha's Vineyard Island in northeastern United States. The video footage was taken in 1927, and 1934 was the year when the animal was last seen in history. The Tasmanian tiger was a marsupial mammal and belonged to the marsupial wolf family. It occurred in Australia, New Guinea, and Tasmania. Here's the last official recordings, taken at a zoo in 1933. It's thought that the last known species died at the Hobart Zoo in Australia in 1936. The dodo is an extinct flightless bird that mainly lived on the island of Marudius in the East Africa. In 1598, Marudius was an uninhabited island, and Dutch sailors first came ashore here and discovered a lot of wild animals, including the dodo. The Dutch hunted these birds, and their habitat was gradually destroyed. This was also because they let cats, pigs, and rats loose on the island, which plundered all dodo nests and ate all their eggs. 64 years later, the dodo would be completely extinct, but at that time, no one seemed to care. However, scientists are convinced that they're still alive. In 2014, a French documentary was released in which a scientist would have recorded an observation of a dodo on camera. However, some people think that this video is fake. Lonesome George was a subspecies of the giant tortoise and was last of its kind. It was first discovered in 1971 by a Bulgarian scientist on the island of Pinta in Ecuador. This island belongs to the Galapagos Islands and it was named after one of the three ships of Columbus. After they found George, they searched the whole island, but couldn't find any other animals, so George was all alone. After that, he was transferred to a research institute, where he was placed with two female turtles on a different species. 
Although there were several attempts to reproduce, it unfortunately didn't succeed. Thirteen years later, in 2012, George died at the age of 100. However, this was quite young because giant tortoises of his species can normally reach 200 years old. In 2017, researchers found hybrid offsprings of the turtle on another island nearby. After genetic research was done, scientists suggested that George's species might still be alive. The Gigantopithecus is an extinct primate species from the family of great apes. This species would have been extinct about 9 million to 100,000 years ago. This human monkey could reach a length of 3 meters with a weight of 300 kilograms. There's been stories going around for years that the Gigantopithecus is still alive, and it's thought to be Bigfoot. Other people think that Bigfoot descends from the Gigantopithecus. Both can walk upright, just like a human, and although several observations have been reported, there is one that stands out by far. In 1967, Roger Patterson would have come across Bigfoot in a forest, somewhere in Bluff Creek, California. The video has been thoroughly researched by many people, including experts, and the majority agree that this could actually have been Bigfoot. What do you think? Let me know in those comments. The Megalodon is a shark species that is estimated to have reached a length of 18 meters. They would have been extinct 3.6 to 1.5 million years ago. To give a comparison, the Megalodon was about three times bigger than the largest predatory fish on Earth, the white shark. Because only 5% of the ocean has been discovered, some people believe that the Megalodon still exists. There's videos going around on the internet suggesting that a Megalodon has been captured on camera. But these are most likely whale sharks or Pacific slumber sharks. In 1942, the Discovery Channel would have released a documentary in which there was a huge fin that can be seen. The picture is said to have been taken near Cape Town in South Africa, and according to them, the fin comes from an almost 20 meter megalodon. I have no idea if the megalodon is still alive, but I don't think I would like to come across this shark. I mean, just look at this picture of a megalodon tooth found in Peru, measuring an unbelievable 19 centimeters. The Plesiosauria was an enormous marine reptile with a long neck and, according to scientists, would have been extinct about 66 million years ago. A complete skeleton was found discovered in 1823 by a fossil collector named Mary Anning. These marine animals would have lived in the European seas and around the Pacific Ocean. However, the ocean has not yet been explored enough to be sure that the animal no longer exists. Over the years, several observations have been made of a long-necked sea monster in Lake Loch Ness in Scotland. I'm talking about the Loch Ness Monster. According to many, Nessie could possibly be a plesiosaur. There are many similarities, including the long neck. Other scientists say that Nessie is more of a large eel. Although there's no evidence that Nessie is a plesiosaur, many people believe this story. The Pterodactylus is considered the largest flying animal that ever lived, and is thought to have been extinct about 66 million years ago. In 1870, the first fossil of a pterodactylus was discovered in Germany. Scientists also discovered that the animal was warm-blooded and had fur. Furthermore, it has a long-pointed beak with a comb on its head, and the wingspan of its wings was estimated to be about 10 to 11 meters long. This animal probably doesn't exist anymore, but it'll surprise you that there's several observations in which people claim to have spotted this animal. There's also several pictures going around on the internet where we see people standing around this huge beast. I have no idea if these pictures are real or not, but the fact that there are several of them makes you think. The Triceratops belongs to the dinosaur species and was a herbivore, which means it mainly ate plants and shrubs. Furthermore, it would have used its large horn to push trees. Now, you might think if this animal had existed, we would have seen it a long time ago. The Triceratops was in fact very large and could become 9 meters long with a weight of 13 tons. I think they no longer exist, but believe it or not, there's people who say that this animal could be still walking around in places that haven't been explored completely, such as the rainforest of Brazil, Africa, and Antarctica. Also, I came across a photo on YouTube in which an enormous Triceratops would be standing in the middle of a road. I tried to find out where it came from, and it turned out to be a big prank from some jokers who took the huge figure out of a store with prehistoric stuff and put it in the middle of the road. So there were several motorists who were scared to death when they came across this thing in the road. The Tasmanian tiger, also called the marsupial wolf, is an extinct species that lived in the forest and grasslands of Tasmania, Australia, and New Guinea. According to scientists, this species would have been extinct on the mainland thousands of years ago. The reason why the population decreased is because it was hunted by humans. 
They did this because the Tasmanian tigers ate their sheep and kangaroos. But what turned out to be the case is that there was one specimen left that was kept in captivity at the Hobart Zoo on the island of Tasmania. There's even video footage of him. Benjamin, as the animal was called, officially died on September 7, 1936. Fifty years later, the animal was officially declared extinct. In 2019, documents from the Australian government came out mentioning that several sightings were reported and even a paw print of the animal was found. So new research is being done to see if this species is still alive. The sauropods are dinosaurs with an enormously long neck, a small head, and a long tail. They are among the largest land animals that have ever lived, with lengths up to 35 meters and a weight of 80 tons. Now, these animals are thought to have been extinct 66 million years ago. But there's a century-long legend that one is still living around the Congo Basin, the second largest rainforest in Africa. The locals gave it the name Mokele Mbembe. The locals, called pygmies, claim that it's about 10 meters long and would travel by water. In 1909, a man named Carl Hagenbeck reported a dinosaur-like creature in the Congo. According to several eyewitnesses of the pygmy population, they would have seen the beast and even killed one in 1959. Nowadays, there's still expeditions to find the animal, but without result. What extinct animal would you like to see in real life? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.